Welcome back to another video. My name is Asta and today I'm going to show you on how to set up CBB pipelines with AI phone agents with outbound call capability. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So as you can see, I'm here at Shopabilla AI's website. I'm simply going to click on sign up. I'm just going to name it CBB pipeline and AI phone agent tutorial. Keep it real simple. And let's click continue. Awesome. So now we're here in the CBB dashboard. The next step is to create a knowledge base for the agent, the general agent. And so for this instance, I've selected the State Farm Insurance Agency. So for this one here, I'm just going to click Command A, Command C to copy it, head on over to ChatGPT and say, please create a chatbot knowledge base for this business. For links to be written as links, not hyperlinks. Let's just fix it real quick. Awesome. So just paste it at the bottom and click enter. Now, ChatGPT will create the knowledge base for this. We have in CVB also something called the knowledge base builder where you can drop in PDFs, links, etc. to build your knowledge base. Uh, for this instance, we'll just use ChatGPT. So as you can see, here it goes. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So let me just copy all of this and head over back to CVB and let's go to agents. Now here, the first thing we want to do is click on add and we'll name this one general agent. Click enter. Awesome. So here we'll just paste in the information that ChatGPT gave us or the knowledge base builder and we'll click save. So that's the first agent done. Now we want to head on over to our pipelines right here. Over here we'll click on add and we'll select custom board for this case. Now we're going to name these something simple. Let me just add three more. So we'll name this one, rename low, medium, high, and then critical. Awesome. So we got one, two, three, four. Amazing. Now from here, we want to create another agent. So let's go on over to agents. And this one we'll call pipeline Paul. And click on add and drop it in. Pipeline Paul. Now we're going to go over to chat GPT. And this is what I said. I said, I want you to act as a customer message to assistant. Give me a clear skill from one to four based on urgency with brief descriptions. An instruction that says the assistant must reply only with numbers. And a few example user messages, each followed by the correct numbering response with no extra text. Formulate clearly and keep it usable for training basic AI or human response this way. And so I will leave all of this, all of these resources will be in a Google Doc that you can access. Now, certainly it's me, here's a clear formula, trash and then instructions, and we'll just copy this. So as you can see, level four, critical, very angry or threatening to cancel, escalate, and so on and so forth. So we'll copy this with the examples. These are what the examples look like. Like for example, user just checking what time your office opens, that's like a one. So on the scale, it's low general question, friendly tone. Now, if it's like a four, the user will be like, this is ridiculous, cancel my account right now. So we've copied this, we'll head back over to Pipeline Paul and we'll just paste this in right here. So it's got all the information and we'll click save. Amazing. So now we're gonna go over to flows. And for this one, we'll just click on start a template and we'll select default reply plus timer. Amazing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just move this around a little bit and get these down here, just like this. So we have some space up top. And this is your default reply. So now we get started with the first node, which is the starting step. Click on OpenAI. And by default, you already have a great starting uh, template right here for your prompt. Now, because we already created the general agent, we'll just do that. So up here where it says generate text, we'll switch it over to generate text agents. And then where it says model, we'll keep it as is, so we can have it to 4.1 mini. I'll keep it just the way it is right now. And then for agents, we'll select general agent. We can remove function, connect user to human, and leave the rest as is. And then just click continue. Now from here, when it's a success, I'm drag this out. I'm going to add content, action, open AI. And from here, we're going to select our other agent, Pipeline Paul, for grading. So we'll select generate text agents, agent is pipeline Paul, and we'll save the response to a custom field. So for this one, I'm gonna name this one grade and click continue. Then we can remove this function right here. We don't need that and then click continue. Awesome. So now we're gonna set up a condition. So click the little plus at the bottom and where it says condition, select that and we'll connect these up. Now this condition here, we'll name this block first of all, grade message, click save. Then the condition will be checking the grade. So we'll name this one check grade. And it's going to be condition custom field grade contains one, another one, 
condition grade contains two and we'll speed this up boom done so we got grade one two three and four now what we want to do is click the plus again and we're going to get an action we'll connect these up and this action is going to be add content actions pipelines from here we're going to click on this and add contact to a pipeline select custom board the name will just have full name let's fix that email and phone number and then we can leave the rest as is click continue we may add content again actions pipelines right here and then move contact to a stage and we'll select custom board and this one is low because it's the first one right so thread level one is going to be low let me click continue as you can see grade contains one it's set to add the contact to the pipeline and then moves the contact to the first stage because it's again not critical it's low so we're going to duplicate this so we have four just like that and we connect this one up click on this and then we want to select the bottom one and the stage is medium then connect the third one again the bottom pipeline one i and then grade four to the last one and this one here will be critical click continue so i'll just name these really quickly do some editing magic here boom as you can see now we've got low medium high and critical so let me so just click this auto organize step the magic button and here what we want to do is i'll just move this one down a little bit now if it is critical and this is where the magic happens i'm going to add content and we're going to go to actions and external api request don't worry it's not that scary now from here all we want to do is click on external api requests I'm going to make sure that this is post and then for the request url let me copy that again i'll leave the resources in a google doc or something easy for you to just follow along and then for header we want to add this okay so i gotta do one more thing and i'll show you how to do this actually let me duplicate this whole thing so i've duplicated the tab so you can see exactly what it is that i'm doing i'm gonna go back perfect i'm in flows now i'm gonna go to custom fields go on down to account fields add and i'm gonna name this one text api key the type is text and then the value so this is where i'm going to paste in my api key for 11 labs i'm not going to show that obviously because it's my api key but this is where you would paste it in give me one second done so i've now pasted it in now we're going to head on back to default reply plus timer let me just refresh this okay we're here at the external api request make sure it's a post paste this one in here and then for header i'm just going to name it xi api key and then the value will be what we just created, the custom system field. So X API key. So this is now the APK. This holds the API key. For this, then we're going to head on over to the body. I'm going to click JSON. I'm going to paste this in now. I'm going to explain to you this. You'll have this as well. There'll be a template that has the exact layout and everything. So you just fill in the details. But I'll go over it with you. The agent ID. And I'm going to show you where to get that from. The agent ID is when we go to our 11 labs. And we want to go to conversational AI. And we go to agents. I've got Live Larry agent right here. Created today. And you would just copy the agent ID. Or whichever agent that you have here. Right? So let me click on this. So you're going to have a better look at it. So for Live Larry, I've got everything selected. I've got additional languages input here. You can just have the ones that you wanted to have additionally. Um... Fill down first message. I'm Live Larry and I'm here to help you. Then, system prompt You are Live Larry. You're a friend of CBB Nation and you're also affiliated with the homie. Let me just fix this with the homies at the level labs and you're here to answer questions. Okay, super easy. So, this is Live Larry, the agent, and you would just, whichever agent that you have set up for this, you would just copy the agent ID. There you go. Then you go back to the default reply uh, plus timer and then in the JSON where it says agent ID, you paste it in. Now agent phone number ID, you go here to phone numbers. I've got one connected here. If you need a video on how to connect uh, or, you know, bring in your phone number from Twilio over to 11 Labs, let me know in the comments down below and I'll get that video to you. You just click on this and then you'd have the phone number ID. You can copy that and you would paste it right here for number id and then two number this is the number that i have right now usually you would have a custom field like phone number such as this phone but for this case because i'm testing i'll just have my number which is plus six seven nine nine seven zero eight four zero two i may switch this up actually to a different phone number 
um, because I'm using my phone right now <laughs> to record this. Okay, so, and then here where you have first message, hello, I'm Master from Chapabilla AI, just going to say what's up. And then the prompt, your helpful energy assistant from Chapabilla AI, speak clearly and don't repeat yourself. The date and time is, and then you have here current user time. Um, and then here where it says voice ID, your grab is also from 11 labs. So you go over to it, 11 labs, and you head on over to voices. Then here you click on my voices and then the, whichever voice that you're wanting to choose, you just click copy voice ID and enter it right here. Again, if you need clarification on any of these, let me know in the comments below or reach out to me and I'll help you out. Perfect. So now all we gotta do is click save. So I don't wanna lose that. And we wanna test it. Just go over API key, body is a JSON, that's good. Response mapping, that's fine. Let's test it. So let me click on test now. True, success. So I should be getting a phone call. Let's see if we can hear this. I'm Liv Larry and I'm here to help you. Hey, sorry, who's this? I'm Liv Larry here to help you. What can I do for you today? It's something a bit sassy. Or what, what can you help me with actually? I can answer questions and provide information. What's on your mind? Okay, perfect. So let's just end it. And let's make a small change. So, okay, let's take one more change. Let's move it to 11 labs. We gotta make sure that we are on conversational AI, agents, and choose the one that we selected, which is Live Larry. Then we're gonna click on this one. And in the prompt, we're gonna say, Hi, I'm here to help you. In the prompt, you're gonna say, You are Live Larry and you're a friend of CB Nation. You're calling someone who has been labeled with a critical gas service issue. And so your main job is to apologize, apologize profusely for dropping the ball. And your main goal is to win them back. Done. Now let's click save. And now we're going over back to the default plus timer. Let's give this one more go. Test now. Here we go. I am Liv Larry and I'm here to help you. Hey, what's up? I am so sorry that you have been labeled with a critical guest service issue. I want to apologize profusely for dropping the ball and assure you that I am here to win you back. What exactly happened and how can I help make things right? Okay, no, it's all good, thank you. I, I really appreciate you won me back already. I'm really glad to hear that things are all good now. Is there anything else I can help you with today or were you just looking for an apology? Oh, that's it, I'm good, thanks. Great, I'm glad I could help. Have a wonderful day. Done, and just like that, Liv Larry called up and said he's really sorry and wants to win me back. I mean, what can I say? So let's click on save. We know that that all works. Now, let's try and add one more thing to this. Here next to an API request. Actually, let's do one more thing. Let's add some message right here. Connect these up. So from here, we're gonna click on this one right here. Add content, actions, open AI. And we're gonna click on this. And all we're gonna say here in the business information is this. You are a conversation history agent that specializes, by any I could spell, summarizing, the conversation in two to three paragraphs. And you also give a title to the critical urgency and you include a number digit from one to five. One being low and five being critical. Perfect. Then for this one, we'll use chat history, chat underscore history. We'll add a new custom field called summary and we can remove this and click continue. Then in the same block, we're gonna add content again and we're gonna go to pipelines, take pipelines here and add note or add comment. Pipeline is custom board and the text will be summary right here. Perfect, amazing, amazing stuff. We'll just name this call to apologize, click save. And this one here, summary low to critical pipeline comment, and click save. Perfect. Now let's just make it look nice, just like that. Click publish and let's try this out. So I hand over to flows. I'm going to set this one as the default reply. Now here it says general default reply. We want to select that one. Default reply plus timer or default flow. Select this one. Default flow plus timer. Click save. Perfect. So from here we'll head over to flows and we'll go to the welcome message. Before that, let's head back over to our default reply plus timer. There's one thing that is absolutely crucial to check and super easy to miss. So on the first node, Open AI, the response is saved to AI default reply. Then the next one, the success, the next one, you want to make sure, there you go, use this message 
is AI default reply because this will hold the value of the previous response. So let's click continue. Make sure we click publish right here. So one last thing we always got to check because there are two ways to have a default reply. One, as I've mentioned previously in the general section, so settings, general default reply. Now also in integrations, open AI chat GPT. Or when this is turned on, it will overwrite this one. And so the information will be pulled from open AI chat GPT right here. So this is the information we've been pulling. Or I could switch to agents and then select the you know, general agent, etc. For this example, we're gonna turn this off right here and click save. Now we're gonna head on over to flows, welcome message and preview. Now, because this is the default welcome message, it will just be a really simple message saying, hi, how can I help you? I'm going to get ready to type and complain. Hey, I'm not happy. Cancel it all. You guys suck. This sucks. <laughs> I was about to type, I suck. <laughs> okay, click enter. I'm sorry, how are you feeling this way? And look at that, already calling me. So let me answer. I'm Liv Larry and I'm here to help you. Hey, why are you calling me? I'm Liv Larry. And I'm calling because I understand there's been a critical guest service issue and I'm here to help. I am so sorry that we dropped the ball. I want to do everything I can to win you back. Could you tell me more about what happened so I can understand the situation better? Absolutely. I was talking to one of your agents and the agent told me that they wanted my phone number. Extremely unprofessional. They asked if I was single. Oh my goodness. I am so incredibly sorry that happened. That is completely unacceptable and not at all the kind of experience we want you to have. Asking for your number and inquiring about your relationship status is beyond the pale. I want to assure you that we take this very seriously. To help me address this properly, could you perhaps recall the agent's name or any details about when this occurred? His name was, uh, John. I'm still here and ready to... Thank you for providing that information. I am truly sorry that you had to experience that with John. We will investigate this matter. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad I could at least offer an apology. Is there anything else I can do for you right now? Else you'd like to discuss regarding this? Issue? No, there's nothing else. Thank you very much. Done. I'm glad I could help in some way. Thank you for your time. And again, I sincerely apologize for the negative experience. I'll go ahead and end the call now. Have a great day. Beep, beep, beep. All right. So now let's check it in pipelines. Okay. So we got the call. It's super trippy because that's my voice. I'm like talking to myself. Oh, okay. You have so much fun. If you're not having fun, what are you doing? Okay, let's check the pipelines. Boom, critical. Stage critical. And then here, where it says automation, title. Immediate resolution required. Urgency level four. The user expressed strong dissatisfaction, indicating a desire to cancel the service due to frustration with the current situation. The message reflects emotional distress and dissatisfaction. So everything. Yeah, perfect. So. As you can see, that's how you do it. So again, thank you so much for joining us in this video. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'm more than happy to answer all of them. I'll also include all the resources that you may want or need. And you can always reach me in Discord or Facebook. Without further ado, I'm Asta. I'll catch you later. Peace.